this being my first time, I'm actually hoping to speak for more than seven minutes because I want to experience the musical bum rush. <laughs> All right, so uh, we'll see. Um, Justifiably, we are very proud of the Boston Park system. We love it, we think it's terrific, but as a result, we don't like to admit that it's never been completed. In fact, if one wants to be a little bit harsher, one would say uh, it's a broken necklace. And by the way, a part of the problem is this map. The broken part of it is behind that big legend in part, right? Uh, so it's kind of disguised a little bit. So, but here's the actual problem. We have, for 100 years, we've been showing the wrong map, the wrong Olmsted map. The one that sort of hangs in every law office in town is that one, and it kind of corresponds with uh, this one, right? Franklin Park is the end. But the actual map in many of the Olmsted documents is the little one right there. And in the little one, something else happens. It shows the continuation of the necklace along Columbia Road back to the harbor. And that's the part that you can say is either unfinished or broken because it hasn't actually been ever realized. So there's the old man. Uh, and the reason I show him uh, and his son, of course, who is also influential, is that we, all, we think that he's invented, he invented the alignment. He didn't. The Boston Park Commissioners in 1875 gave him uh, this drawing. And look at that. There it is. It sort of ends at Franklin Park. That's the, what he was given in order to then implement an actual plan. Well, he actually, as I'm trying to do tonight, said, that's a broken necklace. We have to get it all the way over back to the harbor. And they partially succeeded. So here's Franklin Park, of course, so we all know. Uh, that's one end, right? And there's Pleasure Bay, sometimes called Pleasure Bay, Castle Island. Uh, it has other names as well. Uh, at the other end, that was realized as well. That's part of the emerald necklace. Uh, all those, well, maybe not on the map that we see, but the idea of it, certainly. There it is, right? But there's 2.1 missing, 2 missing miles between those two things, right? So there's Franklin Park up there, and there's a Pleasure Bay there, and there's a little two-mile stretch, uh, which has not been ever thought about, actually, uh, as the completion of the Emerald Necklace. Now, there are many reasons for this, and I would have to take more than seven minutes to describe that, and maybe that's less important than trying to become enthusiastic again about how this might happen. So, by the way, uh, it was supposed to look like this. Well, this, of course, is a portion of the Arbor Way, right? It was supposed to look like this. It tends to look like this. Now, uh, I'm not showing this to sort of uh, complain about Columbia Road. I'm showing you that, actually, look at that. It. It's sort of sinuous and broad and winding. Uh, that's already a clue to the fact that it was supposed to be like the J-Way and the Arbor Way. It was supposed to be one of those great arteries that connects uh, to uh, the lungs uh, that constitute uh, the emerald necklace. Uh, and there's an amazing number of very interesting neighborhoods and schools and little parks and a couple of transit stops as well, uh, all along there. Uh, but the street itself is recognized today probably more as an arterial, not the artery as in our bodies that connects all of our other uh, uh, lungs and so forth, uh, but as an arterial. One of the difficult things about transforming it back to an artery, we'll, ha we'll have to deal with this uh, 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 sort of competing set of interests. But nonetheless, uh, it certainly ought to be thought about as the completion of the necklace, and however else we want to think about the necklace as we move into the 21st century. So there's another view of it uh, back in the, old, the good old days. Uh, it actually had a streetcar running along it. One of the reasons why it never became uh, a, a, a greenway was that it had a transit line along it as well, although that very quickly uh, disappeared, as did many others of our streetcars in the Boston area. Uh, so here's a kind of a, a view of it as it is, more, more or less. I'm sorry that this is so, uh, so foggy. And there's what it could become. It could actually become not literally the Arbor Way, but what, using the jargon of the day, a, a complete street. It could have wider sidewalks. It is wide enough to have wider sidewalks. It is wide enough to have ample tree planting. It is wide enough, two minutes, I'm going to start to filibuster until I get uh, through. <laughs> <laughs> no, I won't. Uh, 
uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm almost done. Uh, uh, it's wide enough to uh, actually begin to behave uh, like a street that we all wish it were. Uh, and by the way, also be part of the completion of the emerald necklace. So by all means, uh, uh, let's do it. So let's take on this 2.1 miles uh, and understand it to be a bit of unfinished history. But also, by the way, as long as we're going to do this, let's expand the necklace. Let's add many more strands to the necklace. Let's make the necklace an, a network. Uh, because of course, for the if that was sufficient for the 19th century, it is not sufficient for the 21st century. And so there's a whole group of people here, Anidi who spoke earlier, and Steve Miller somewhere, and Matt Kiefer, who are trying to expand on the necklace and make it into network. And that's a very good goal in addition to fixing Columbia Road. Thank you.